Hey guys, happy full moon. Please be sure to say hello or howl at me once you get here. I hope you all are having a lovely and wonderful evening. And I am sitting here right now. Uh, the little light, let's see, the little light right there underneath my finger is Luna. So hopefully she'll rise as we spend time here this evening. Um, hey guys, I see Kelly. I know there are a couple of others of you. Hey Melissa, welcome guys. Thank you all for being here. Happy full moon. So since we're just getting started, I'm going to give folks just a minute or two to hop on, but I would love to hear from you guys what your experience is typically on the full moon. What kinds of effects and things do you notice yourself? Hey Lizzie, how are you? Um, what kinds of effects do you notice in your own self? Either in your sleeping habits, your mood, whatever. Just um, hop on and, and share with, with me. Um, hey Jenny. So I don't normally notice a ton of sleep difficulties. But I do notice a little like extra energy sometimes around the full moon. And this one is no exception to that. <laughs> Lizzie, your mom might be right. Um, I'm a social worker and I don't know, I can't remember what she does, but um, most social workers and nurses and police officers will definitely agree that the full moon makes people go crazy. Oh, Katie, I'm sorry it was a grumpy day. It could be that for sure. It definitely could be. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit about this full moon. So, um, and I'm getting a little weird line across my screen. So hopefully you guys aren't getting that. But um, I'm not really so much concerned about you guys being able to see me tonight. Since we are here and it is kind of late, if you're heading to bed, um, I'm a, I'm a late nighter, but if you're heading to bed, feel free to put this down and not even watch it and just kind of listen. Oh yeah, she, so she gets it with the kiddos for sure. Um, so feel free to, you know, just put the electronic away because we all know that having electronic lights in front of our face right before bedtime is not always a good idea. So you can feel free to set this down and just listen if you want to. So we'll go ahead and get started, but I wanted to share a little bit about this full moon with you guys um, so that you could kind of be thinking about whether or not this uh, rings true for you. But this June moon is called the strawberry, strawberry moon or the honeymoon, which is kind of nice. Um, but June is the time of summer solstice. And so energy is really high, longest days of the year right now, which is really lovely. Um, and it's also that time of the year sometimes where we get a little bit frantic about all of the things that we have to get done and all of the things that we have to pack into those extra daylight hours that we don't always have. And so um, sometimes that can leave us to feeling a bit overwhelmed. So I wanted to read a little bit to you guys about this particular moon that's coming up. Um, it actually is full as of like 9 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. So you could watch this tonight or you could watch this tomorrow. Um, but this particular moon is about the fact that oftentimes we say yes to anything and anyone. And this particular full moon is going to kind of force us or encourage us to narrow down our focus just a little bit. Um, in our lives, we're often asked to uh, kind of, or in this moon, we're asked to kind of shift through and find what it is that we want to focus on and spend our time on so that we can clearly define where we're going. Um, so if you've been finding yourself feeling sad or frustrated, um, hopefully this meditation will give you the opportunity to kind of check in and figure out what you are dedicating your time to. So I'll read just one more quote. I'm going to kind of lean in here so I can benefit from some of the light of the computer. But this quote is from Women Who Run With The Wolves. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful book for wild women, 
or even women that don't feel so wild that maybe want to tap into that inner wildness. The world is lonely for comfort and for the hips and breasts of women. It calls out in a thousand hundred million voiced way, waving to us, plucking and pulling at us, asking for our attention. Sometimes it seems that everywhere we turn, there is someone or something of the world that needs, wants, and wishes. Some of the people, issues, and things of the world are appealing and charming. Others may be demanding and angry, and yet others seem so dishearteningly helpless that against our wills, our empathy overflows, our milk runs down our bellies. But unless it is a life and death matter, take the time, make the time, to put on the brass brassiere, stop running the milk train, do the work of turning toward home. So if you've ever been a woman that has found that you said yes when you actually wanted to say no or when you meant no and felt that sense of resentment, then this meditation is for you. So go ahead and find a nice comfortable seat, um, lying down, sitting up, whatever feels good to you. And the returning home that this book talks about is just finding small sacred moments. Small sacred moments where you can tune inward, take a deep breath, go to a yoga class, take a walk by yourself, whatever it is that you need to do. So we're going to take that time to go home tonight. So if you'd like to close your eyes, you can, or you can just rest gazing softly, maybe at the floor or something beautiful in front of you. And just begin to settle your bodies and begin to settle your mind with your breath. Begin to lengthen and deepen that breath. Feeling the breath go all the way down into the belly as the belly expands. Maybe even sighing out the mouth a time or two. <sighs> Take time to Relax the forehead and the eyes. Relax the cheeks and jaw and tongue. Maybe swallowing once or twice to clear out any tension from the neck and throat. Letting the muscles of the shoulders relax the arms and hands to feel heavy. Let the chest just gently rise and fall with each breath. Relaxing the muscles of the upper back. Allowing the belly to gently rise and fall with the breath. Maybe even breathing all the way around into the kidney area at the low back. Relaxing the buttocks and the hips, the thighs. Allowing everything to begin to feel pleasantly heavy. Relaxing the fronts, the backs, the knees, the calves and shins. Relaxing the ankles, the feet, and the toes. With each exhale, just allow yourself to 
come into a state of even deeper relaxation. With every exhale, as you relax a little more, maybe begin to feel yourself go into that place of home, wherever that is for you. For some of us, it may literally be a place in our home. For others of us, it may be the beach. It could just be a place in our mind that we go to when we need to reconnect with ourselves. When we feel spun out and we feel overwhelmed and we feel spread thin, a place that we can go to and begin to feel centered, relaxed, still. And allow yourself to notice what is in this space, this space that you call home this home base notice what's in this place the eyes may be closed but you can see this space in your mind's eye notice who if anyone or what is around you And what sorts of things you're able to hear in this space. Maybe it's just a lovely silence. Maybe it's a light breeze blowing through the trees. Perhaps it's the sound of the ocean waves. No matter what sounds are coming through your physical ears, when you go to this place of home mentally, what do you hear there? And are there any scents there, anything that you smell? Sometimes it's the smell of baked goods or the salty breeze of the ocean. And be aware of what you feel here, what you experience. Is there sun warming your skin? or a breeze blowing through your hair. Just allow yourself to be completely immersed in this space. And as you are, begin to notice how you feel in this place of home. What emotions do you feel and what areas of ease or comfort do you feel in your body? And in this space of home, you begin to notice a wise 
older version of yourself. And she looks on you with compassion and love. And she may even have words of wisdom for you about those things that you're saying yes to and those times that you're saying yes when really you may need to or should say no. So listen to what gifts and words of wisdom she has for you this evening. Maybe it's about releasing guilt or the shame of saying, not right now. Maybe she would remind you how important it is for you to take time for you or else there'll be too little to go around for everyone else. When you're ready, perhaps give your older, wiser self a thank you or a hug. And know that you can come back to her anytime that you need to. And again, as you're ready, begin to slowly deepen your breath. You may not be ready to come back from that home space yet. And so feel free to turn this off and allow yourself to rest in this home space as long as you need to. We're never truly quite ready to come back from this space. And yet it is important for us to come back at some point and join the rest of the world nourished and refreshed. And so as you're ready, you can begin to deepen your breath and bring small movements into the body. stretching or moving in ways that would feel good to you. And as you're ready, you can take your time and open the eyes. And if you are watching live, you can see how the beautiful moon continues to rise behind us, reminding us to stay connected. And I'd love to know from you guys um, if you have that special place of home and it doesn't have to be in your mind, but where it is your special place is and um, your place of sanctuary is. And so if you'd like to share that in the comments, you can. Um, it's possible that I may get cut off in just a moment. Um, my battery is lower than I would like, and if so, I'll join you back on here for a typed out discussion. But um, share, if you will, where your space of home is and where you like to go to for sanctuary whether it's in your mind or uh, a special place in your home or community or just in this world somewhere. For me, I'll share my space. Um, my ultimate special space is on the beach, but we all know that we can't be at the beach all the time, or at least I can't be at the beach all the time. So my other space for going home would be to go out into the woods. And even then, sometimes that's difficult, right? If you're, you know, in the middle of something and you can't get away from it. And so sometimes just a deep breath has to be 
um, going home. So Katie says being outside is her favorite and most relaxing place. Almost also being at the lake. Yes, I love being around water. Um, do you have a favorite lake, Katie, that you go to? They also have favorite spaces or sacred spaces you go to. Ah, in bed with a fan on. That sounds terrific. As long as you don't have a snoring spouse, Jenny, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully Gary doesn't keep you up snoring. <laughs> Nature, yes, absolutely. Near water. Ah, oh, walking in the rain. That sounds lovely. And pumpkin baking. Well, I'll come over to your house, Kelly, and I'll get some... You can make some pumpkin seeds and pumpkin muffins and <laughs> things like that. Awesome. No Lynn. I haven't been there, but I know a lot of people that go there. That's awesome. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah, so you'll get a little bit of sacred space before that happens. Ooh, a creek fed ponds. I'll have to figure out where that is from you, Lizzie, because I'm looking for some places to hike that has moving water. Moving water is really important to me. So um, I always I always like that. Awesome. Well, you guys continue to comment. Thank you guys so much for being here with me this evening. Um, if you have questions, I will continue to um, answer them even after I hop off of here. Um, feel free to let me know again what you would like to see in this space. This is your space and um, I am truly having a lot of fun being here in this space with you guys. Uh, Melissa, let's, let's do a yoga retreat and it's time for a, a beach yoga retreat again um, for sure. All right, guys, you all have a terrific night. If the moon keeps you up, do one to two ratio breathing. For every second you breathe in, breathe out two seconds. So breathing in for, you know, say a count of three and out for a count of six. And hopefully that'll help you uh, quiet down the mind and uh, get nice and relaxed on this energetic full moon. You guys have a great night. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you so much. I will see you guys soon.